Look at this, look at this. This is what you get in Dubai, you guys. <laughs> We're at VIP Motors and look at this. Look at this choice. It's unbelievable, isn't it? Look at this, just center. Just, just flying here. <laughs> this is exciting you guys. I've decided to buy another car, got my rolls. I never had a reason to buy more than one car before now because I was always traveling. Now I'm here in Dubai all the time. I've decided to get a supercar as well. Come with me. VIP motors and look at this. Look at this choice. It's unbelievable, isn't it? <laughs> I'm like, oh my god. Once you come in, you think you've got your mind made up, and then you come in here and you're like, oh, no, I want that one. No, I want that one. I want that one. That one. It's hypercar central, you guys. Look, just a center, just there. Like, someone will walk in tomorrow and be like, yep, here you go. Boom, I want the center. P1. Look at this gorgeous. Oh my god. If I could get a P1, it would be exactly like this exposed carbon fiber. This exposed carbon fiber is everything. Isn't this beautiful, this spec? Just another P1, you know, just lying around. A couple of Bugattis. This is a 720S, McLaren 720S. So we are gonna test drive this baby today. 710 horsepower, twin turbo V8, zero to 100 in under three seconds. The 720S new is about 300,000 US dollars. The Ferrari uh, Pista is around 330 US dollars. So the Pista is slightly more expensive than the 720S. This is another option, the GT2 RS. And again, very similar specs, 700 horsepower and uh, just under three seconds, zero to 100. So this is something else that I could get. What do you guys reckon? It's quite cool here with the, the gills here on the side, the carbon fiber gills. Also, it's around the same price new. So we've got the 720, we've got the Ferrari uh, Pista and we've got the GT2 RS. They're all kind of in the same league. It just really depends on what you like better like what do you like the look of more and what do you like the feel of more to drive I love Porsche I've owned two Porsches only Boxsters but still have absolutely loved them my issue is when you go into this kind of price league I want it to look more like a supercar than this does to me Porsches all kind of have the same shape I know a lot of Porsche lovers would be like no you're crazy they all look totally different to me not really this one has a massive wing on the back also something I have an issue with I'm not a massive fan of like big wings I don't know what it is about it it just doesn't feel right to me so although I love the feel of driving a Porsche I'm not sure if this car is right for me but it's super sporty it's a super race car you know you've got the roll cage here in the back <laughs> That smells new. Oh my god. Okay, maybe I need this one. <laughs> also very cool, but now I've got the rolls, I have no need for like a G-Wagon square. Look at all these rolls, it's all such different colour combos. This is actually beautiful. Love the look of this car, love the sound of this car. I love the design. My issue with Ferraris is it doesn't really stick to the ground. It kind of plays around and I know that's why a lot of people love Ferraris. For me, I'd rather get something that like sticks to the road. So you slam your foot down and you're not worried about the back end kind of like spinning out and playing around. But having said that, this would be an incredible car as well. So what do you reckon? Free stuff? 
Look at this speck in here, isn't this gorgeous? Yellow and black. I love that. Beautiful. Yeah, this is just incredible. You get to look straight into the engine. This is so massive, this window. You rarely, rarely get to see that much of an engine in a car. That's really special. Wow. All right, here we are, here we are, here we are. Ooh. This is it. This is a brand new 720S. It's got zero kilometers on the clock. Um, 2018. We're going to actually take this baby out for a test drive, keep the mileage super, super low, um, just to be able to yeah, feel if this is... This is the one! Is this the one? I have to say, I just love the side profile of this car. This shape here kind of reminds me of when you get ice cream out of like a little vending machine and it kind of swirls on top of the cone. That's kind of what this reminds me of. I know that's a little bit weird. What I also love is, of course, the doors, how McLaren doors go up. Is it open? Let's see. Yes. Look at this. I mean, <laughs> how can you not be impressed by a door like this? And look how it just opens up here on the top as well. That's really cool. So this makes it so much easier to get in because the door opens half of the roof at the same time. This is brand, brand new. Let me smell it. Let's do the smell test. Yeah, yeah, it's brand new. This is beautiful. So this is Alcantara. This isn't, um, you know, like the standard leather. It's a soft, soft kind of feel to it. The whole interior is Alcantara. I've actually never seen that before. That's quite special. And then a bit of carbon fiber here in the middle and up here as well. This interior isn't my favorite color. I prefer lighter interiors, but because it's all in one color it gives me a lot more choice for the exterior color so because this is all kind of gray it's like a charcoal it means i can like go crazy with the exterior wrap because it'll keep it'll always match the interior whatever color i get on the outside i can match the stitching here to the outside i can get all of this stitch i can get extra panels put in here of color whatever i want really i've got an amazing partner in the UAE who will do all of that, who actually did Lucy. Uh, so yeah, all right, I think it's time. First things first, we're gonna test how easy it is to get in. And also look, I've just noticed this room here in the back, perfect for my bag. Boom, that's your boot space. <laughs> you do a little bit of shopping. Alright, here we go. Yeah, easy. Very easy. Oh yeah. Like look how wide of an angle this is to get into this car. And you know what? I need to move it forward a bit. Alright. Alright. Should we go? Turn her on first. Now key. Start stop just this simple okay That's an impressive car. That's a very impressive car. 
I was iffy before I got here, but now I'm like, mm -hmm. would be very nice to have next to the rolls. <laughs> There are lots of things I love about this car. One of the things is the speed. It's, it, and it handles corners amazingly as McLarens do. All right, so we're just gonna take off. I don't know, what do you reckon, Nick Cars? You're in this too. <laughs> Should it join the supercar Blondie family? Yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> Out of all of the cars that we looked at today, this is my top pick, I think. I would want to put on a different exhaust just to make it sound a little bit more extreme because yeah I'm not I'm not a massive fan of how like quiet it is in the cabin like I want to hear the roar I don't want to push it yeah too much because it's literally got no miles on the clock so maybe we should take out another 720s that's got some miles on it just so I can push it and feel it because while I love this, I really actually want to experience what is the best part of a 720S, which is the 0 to 100, 2.9 seconds. It's crazy extreme fast. Just going to lift the front and, you know, the McLaren, ah, this is it, I think. You just press that up twice. No, you push this in and then press it up. Rider height normal. There you go. See, it's not, it's not very intuitive. That's the only thing. A lot of other cars, you just literally press a button and it says, oh, he just went like this, like, nice. Okay, that's good. That's a, that's a tick of approval, I think. When <laughs> we got the thumbs up. These guys have also come to buy something. <laughs> Lockdown has just lifted, so everyone's come out to buy cars. It's kind of a Dubai thing. so low I can't see over the dash okay about there is right and then how do I put this thing up again I can't remember oh don't tell oh it's manual you're kidding me look <laughs> I think this is a good position I forgot about that all right no worries that's okay we can deal with that and the other thing that is annoying though is you can't flick these two paddles back to put it into neutral that's a really handy thing to have that's what the hurricane does for example you flick both back you're in neutral give it a quick rev pop it back into first and off you go you have to press this button here which is a little bit annoying because you want to keep your eyes on the road and this is the drive select and then to put it in manual it's like you've got to remember to first push active and then manual or automatic. So there's lots of little buttons that you have to get used to. A cool thing is, look what happens to this screen. Put it in track mode and look, it kind of tucks away into the front and now you can just see a very small screen here so that you can have more attention on the track in front of you and you just get the very basic essentials here in front. Right, is this it? Like I've got to make a decision, it's kind of scary. I've never bought this many cars before in a one month window. <laughs> it's, um, it's, I feel very um, nervous about it actually. It's like a position I've never been in in my life. When I first got to Dubai, I was actually driving a Chevrolet Spark with no air conditioning. <laughs> and you know, and so I, I don't take any of this for granted. This is really such an incredible thing to even be considering buying a 720S. And I know I'm kind of being very picky here going, oh, this is not exactly the way I like it or this and that. But that's because this is a big decision and um, I want to make sure that I get the right, the right car. And yeah, this might be it. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section, should I buy the 720S? Because this baby might be gone tomorrow. You never know when things are gonna just fly out of the showroom here in Dubai. Um, so I'm, I need to make a decision very, very quickly. Let me know. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Love ya. Join the Supercar Blondie family if you haven't yet. Got so much more to come. And uh, yeah, give the video a quick thumbs up and we'll see you on the next vid. Bye.